So, folks, let me just tell you one thing. First of all, I know I look great in this suit. It's not even, I don't want to talk about it, but I tell you right now. No, folks. <laughs> folks, we only have six and a half minutes, and I'm that funny. You know what I mean? I can't waste time with the applause, but thank you. You know, it's funny that Carol was just talking about uh, the erotic awards, as they're called, because I actually watched the whole thing. And uh, <laughs> she makes light. But, folks, let me tell you something, okay? It's a very special ceremony, and... Uh, I saw it, it's beautiful. Of course, they leave the best ones for last. You know, just like the Academy was, you stay up late. I had to stay up to see who won Hairiest Ass in a miniseries. You know, folks, these are important things. That's funny, folks, Harry Ass. It's just a funny statement, I'll tell you right now. But, and then, you know, it's kind of pathetic because there's a lot of poignance, you know what I mean? <laughs> poignance, the erotic awards. It was very sad because you know, it's a very sick industry, and, you know, the best actress came out when she won. She's crying. You know, she's up there in the porno award. She's like, I'd like to thank my parents, my father, for molesting me, so I became a porno star. And my mother for telling me not to tell anyone about it, so I became a cocaine and alcoholic to addict. I, it's the true material that's important, folks. That's what I'm trying to say. Now, look, I love being here at Caroline's at the seaport, and that's what I came out here to talk about. It's a... It's a beautiful place, let's face it, you know what I mean? Authentic, the South Street Seaport, very authentic. I remember when Melville first wrote Moby Dick, you know what I mean? He included the part where Ishmael goes to the Ann Taylor Boutique, you know what I mean, folks? <laughs> very authentic, the place is fake. Who the hell are we kidding? And folks, let me tell you something else about the South Street Seaport. Let me tell you what, the thing that I do like about this place, folks, is the very outre design. And I don't even know what outre means, but I know it means something like what I'm talking about. And folks, why don't you admit it? You don't know what it means either, all right? None of us know what it means. I've had it with this crowd. I'm leaving. No, I'm not, folks, because I spent a lot of money. And if you don't enjoy me, enjoy this suit. Now, look. <laughs> I came out here to do comedy. I'm going to do a set, and I'm going to enjoy it, okay? I came here to do a set. Oh, and here was it, folks. I go back last weekend. A christening. A christening back in Brooklyn. Christening. What that is, those of you who don't know, it's a beautiful ceremony. They take a newborn, precious little baby, put it in the middle of a room, and 80 people smoke and drink in its face for four hours. It's very nice, folks. It's a very nice ceremony. You should try it sometime. It's really nice. At the end of two hours, the baby's cursing. It's got hair on its chest, you know. It's really lovely. It's betting on the Seahawks. It's nice, you know. Plus six, you know. It was a typical family get-together. A typical family get-together. Everyone, everyone over 40 was drunk. Everyone under 30 was stoned, and everyone 30 to 40 was drunk and stoned, you know. It's the generation gap thing, folks, what I'm talking about. And this is a true story. You wanna hear something sordid, okay? I, uh, I go upstairs. My sister's up there when I'm saying goodbye. She's up there with the baby, okay? Just me, my sister, and the baby in the room, alone. Takes out her breast, okay? And I say breast because it is my sister, you know what I mean? You don't wanna say Tiffany's your sister. Suddenly I get all technical medical when it's my own sister, folks. The rest of the time I'm, you know, standing there, me and this guy on the corner of Elizabeth Street. Oh, sweetheart. No, you know what I mean. I'm going on Boulevard, you know, trying to get into Ninzio's house of clams and death. And I, uh, no, I'm, my sister takes out a breast and starts feeding the baby right in front of me. I said, are you coming on to me? You know, folks, what's going on in the world today? Folks, you can't trust your own family. Not that there isn't a time and a place. Don't get me wrong. There's always a time and a place. A family wedding, folks. That's what that's for, you know what I mean? Take care of yourselves, and next time I'll finish the wedding story. Thank you so much, my girl.